Watch it guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to create your own multi-boot USB sticks for free. Now it's very easy to do and you've seen me make videos like this before but this one is so easy my grandma could do it. So let's have a little look at the actual website here where we're going to be using a program called Yummy. You can download it from here for free. This is what it's going to look like when it's complete, okay, when we've added all our ISO images. It does all the work for you, just hit this big blue button and download it, it's not that big. So let's get cracking on the uh, video. So we're going to click run here. Then I'm going to agree to that. Now this bit's very important. We need to make sure that we don't select a drive that isn't our pen drive because it will format it and you'll lose all your data. So just be careful on what you select. I would not put the tick in here to say show all drives because it could be the fact that you're going to select the wrong drive. So I'm going to select F and this is my pen drive but I'm not going to take that word for gospel there I'm going to actually have a look and check and I can see that it is my pen drive because I've gone into my computer and I can see it there okay so you can see I've got a very small pen that's the only one I had available that was free uh, all the others are full so I can see this one's empty and it's only 500 megs now I suggest you use something like a 4 gig pen or an 8 gig pen or even higher or whatever you want to do okay so let's get started so I've got my F selected there. Now you can look down on the list and there's loads and loads of different uh, distros or ISO images. Okay. Now if I wanted to download Linux, uh, Linux Mint, I can do that. Now you can see that it's showing up red here and that's because we don't have the ISO image on our desktop. If I did, it would be green. Now you can actually browse to an ISO image if you have got it on a drive or something like that. You can browse to it and it will find it and then it will turn green and you can use that. If you haven't got it, don't worry, you can put a tick in here and download it at this location. I'm going to try to download something a little bit smaller than that because I haven't got the time. So let's have a little look. Uh, you can see loads and loads of tools here. Um, maybe D-Band, that's very small okay so dban I'm going to try to download you can see I don't have it and what I'm going to do is click the tick in here say yes to that it will take me to the page and then it will allow me to download the ISO image and you can see it's down the bottom I'm going to click yes to this close this off and it will then come down okay we can then put it on our desktop which I'm going to do okay so it's now on my desktop as you can see and uh, what we do now is if I click on it now you can see it's now gone green and that's because we've got it right there so I'm going to create this click, click, click on create it will now say uh, create um, the syslinux MBR on F and that's the pen drive that we've got there Okay, don't worry about all this, it, just make sure that the actual letters are related to your pen drive and then just click yes. This will now create that ISO image on the pen. It does all the work for you so you don't have to worry about that. And I'll put a... Uh, click next here. Would you like to add more ISO image or distros now? I'm going to say yes to this, I'm going to add one more just to show you just to make sure we got it all right okay so we're going to come down here and I'll probably uh, put something small on there this damn small Linux I have this on my desktop pretty easy and I'm just gonna create this and let that go across and that's pretty it really it's pretty easy it's pretty easy to do and we'll let this, uh, this is 50 megs, now it does take a bit of time so the bigger the size of the ISO image the uh, the longer it's going to take to transfer it across okay and when this is complete I'll show you what the pen drive looks like now, as you can see there it's using uh, 7-zip as well now I don't know if you have to install that, maybe you do but I've got that installed so if you do have that installed then you're pretty much good to go you can use the uh, forum there to have, uh, the actual website there to read up on it but I've got that already installed if you haven't maybe install that and it will then look like this okay so that's now transferred that across you can see all finished I'm going to click next and it will say would you like to add more I'm going to say no for this time 
okay and now it's going to say finish okay so let's have a look at the uh, pen drive and as we can see this is our multi boot inside here and this is our pen it's created all of that there we've even got the uh, background there you could even change that if you wanted to so you don't have to have it as yummy if you didn't want to but that that will mean a little bit more work for you but as you can see it's created it all for me and I could actually then add to this if I wanted to okay so that's how you create your own uh, bootable USB multi boot USB drives okay my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk if you enjoy my videos please remember guys hit the subscribe button show your support for me also if you've got any problems with your computers head over to the forums the link is down below and I'll uh, help you fix your PCs there for you for free okay so thanks again guys thanks for watching bye for now